This is the Kiev Military Hospital. It's the main centre in Ukraine where some of the thousands of soldiers and volunteers who've been fighting Kremlin-backed insurgents in eastern Ukraine come to get treated. Although Ukrainian hospitals manage to care for the majority of soldiers wounded on the front lines, they don't have the funds to buy modern technology needed to give the most comprehensive treatment to those with complex or severe injuries. The cash-strapped state health care system has faced shortages of medical supplies, specialised transportation for soldiers and other technology. Our country is very nice medicine, but we have some problems. Uh, we have no such uh, different or new stuff, you see, but if we have, it's very uh, small for our country. Ukrainian charities are working to find free medical care abroad for wounded soldiers. 24-year-old Ruslan Filip Zornov received multiple gunshot wounds to the abdomen after attempting to rescue six fellow comrades during an ambush by militants about two months ago, south of the city of Luhansk. Today, Ruslan is being flown to Austria to receive specialised treatment thanks to the work of Ukrainian NGOs, including the International Association for the Support of Ukraine and Ukrainian Businesses. People have helped us a lot. Volunteers have also helped with transportation. I hope for the best. The doctors did their best. I'm really thankful to all the doctors. They saved my son. Thousands of patriotic Ukrainians have spearheaded fundraising campaigns or given up their own time to assist injured troops, whether it's helping with everyday tasks or even just to boost morale. Young men and women do the uh, not uh, previously not uh, knowing what is military medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, they help uh, by money. They they help uh, by their uh, personal uh, hands what they can do, and uh, we see that. Uh, our people are ready to do everything for, uh, uh, for our patients. EU and NATO members pledged in September to treat and rehabilitate troops injured during military operations in the East Ukraine conflict zone. Germany, Austria, Poland and all three Baltic states have all provided free medical care for the injured military personnel in the past few months. We thanks for our uh, European friends, for our, for our doctors from there, which help for us without money. Uh, very often without money they help us, they operated our persons, our patients uh, from Ukraine. Uh, they give us many stuffs, many drugs, medicines, uh, buses, ambulance, ambulance buses. And so it's very necessary for us, for Ukraine, for our in these difficult times. Some estimates suggest around 50,000 Ukrainian soldiers are fighting on the front lines in eastern Ukraine, about 7,000 of which are from the volunteer battalions. Despite Ukrainian Petro Poroshenko's pledge in September to increase military spending, the government is still finding it doesn't have enough money or the infrastructure to cope with wounded soldiers coming back from the front lines. This is Tom Bell for Ukraine Today in Kiev.